Well, do you know what's in your child's bedroom? Tonight, some parents are taking a walk through a mock bedroom, searching for the signs their child might be in trouble. It's all part of a hidden in plain sight series that's being put on by the Spokane Regional Health District and community partners. And as Creme 2's Cody Proctor tells us, some of the signs look like everyday items. Cody? Well, tonight's hidden in plain sight exhibit at Freeman High School is the first of several that will be taking place over the next week throughout Spokane County. Now, the goal of this exhibit is to teach parents and other adults, such as caregivers, what to look for. And it, as it turns out, they can be perfectly ordinary looking items, but not everything is as what it seems. This bedroom looks like it could belong to just about any teen, but it's no ordinary bedroom is the hidden in plain sight exhibit. Kids aren't just hiding things in their mattress anymore. In it, there are more than 100 items, all of which could be signs of problems or risky behaviors such as teen substance use, human trafficking, mental health concerns, or unhealthy relationships. I love when parents can go in and see what they know versus what they need to learn more about. So, you know, to tend to test what's changed over time, you know, where you can see are things still happening the same way they were happening when you were a kid, and then what's new? That's Jennifer Dorsett, the facilitator of the Hidden in Plain Sight Tri-Cities program. She's traveled all over Washington State for the program, and this isn't her first trip to Spokane and Spokane County. She says one of the biggest concerns right now with kids and teens is vaping. Vaping's not what it used to be even six years ago. Um, when you look at the access and availability, um, you know, vaping is kind of a cheaper way to use nicotine products, and nicotine's one of the most addictive drugs in the nation. According to the most recent Washington State Healthy Youth Survey, in 2021, about 10 percent of surveyed 10th graders in Spokane County reported using vapor products in the last 30 days. That's down from the 27 percent of 10th graders surveyed back in 2018. Ultimately, Dorset hopes what parents and caregivers get out of this event is confidence in talking to their kids. Knowledge is power, and so um, it's just a great opportunity to come and learn. And again, tonight's exhibit at Freeman High School is only one of several that will be taking place throughout Spokane County. There's also one at University High School and at Westwood Middle School. And people who do want to check out this event have to be at least 21 years old. There will also be resource tables available for more information on those upcoming events. Check out our website, creme.com. In the newsroom, Cody Proctor, Creme 2 News.